Hello again, it's Rebecca here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Trace Jolie Kit Club design team. I am playing with the April kits. I'm just getting my little container ready. So we are going to try to use all of these very fun elements. I'd like to get these last few butterflies on there. So we'll put that there and see if we can get these flowers on there. I do have all of these very cute little elements. So we'll just kind of flip through what we have. I've pulled all the little buttons and this is from the cutout sheet that was there. Little never stop exploring because we're going to go ahead and do a Vegas, a happy birthday with some dice, which is just really fitting because it was Sam's birthday trip. He turned 21, and me and my husband and my parents took him to Vegas to celebrate in style. So we've got a whole bunch of fun little elements that we're going to get on here. A lot of monotone, and then we're going to do a little bit of pop of color. So we've got a lot of stuff, you guys. I just sat there and like fussy cut, or fussy cut, um, punched out all these little pieces, and they came out super easy. So that makes it so much better. And then we've got all those right there. There's another one right there. So we'll just connect the hose in there. So we're going to mat the photo. And these three, this is the photo. This is just uh, me and my husband used to take nightly walks when we were there. And this was, this is the hotel we stayed at because of the roller coaster. Thought it would be fun for Sam. I am going to use a piece of chipboard to back that to give it some dimension. We're going to pull in these crystals and use the rest of those. I'm going to use these uh, fun chipboard tickets. And then we're going to mat the photo also, I think, in this one. And I might fussy cut out from this. I'm not sure, so we'll just kind of hold on to that. All right. Let us get started. So first and foremost, I'm going to use this sheet right here. And we are going to tuck the photo in, but we have to cut, well cut, we have to trim this paper down. So we are going to go half off the top and we're going to come why is that? There's no way I came a half off the top. I did not think so. I guess I did. <laughs> that does not seem right to me because then if we go here, where's 12? Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, I totally had a little bit of a brain fart on that one. So we've got that. And then we need to gut this other sheet of paper. I'm always put my other trimmer because this one is the um, the caterpillar. It's not built for gutting. So we're gonna go an inch in, an inch in. Because this is beautiful paper and I do not want to waste. So now if you found me on the Trace Jolie YouTube page, that is fabulous. But if you found me from my personal YouTube page, please head to the Trace Jolie and give them some love, like, and subscribe and do all the fun YouTube things. And also, you know, check out all the other fabulous creators because there are some fabulous creators. And you need to love them as well. Okay. Do, do, do. I was very sad to use this piece. But sometimes we've got to make sacrifices. And we have to decide what those sacrifices are going to be. Don't you wish sometimes that the scrap of paper was not double-sided? <laughs> So you can just use all the fun. Oh. Kind of thinking 
with the vintage feel we've got going on here that we just need to rough this up. So I'm going to go ahead and rough this all up. I'm going to trim my photo, get it matted, rough that all up, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I've got this all scuffed up, I've got this scuffed up and matted, and I always, you know, you see me do that. Um, I've got this popped up, and I've cut that chipboard in half, just we're going to do a diagonal vibe, but we're going to kind of really embellish heavy over here. So I'm just going to start getting all this little stuff just kind of tucked in to go with... Mm, where's that? Right there. I always make the clocks go the correct way, right? It's like a pet peeve. Let's stick the little life as a journey. Kind of just tuck that little guy right there. And we have so many cute little elements. I am, honestly, you guys, going to cover up that dude's face, not feeling him being in the photo. Um, that might not make it on there. So let's definitely come in. Come in right there. We're going to take the little luggage. We're just going to start adding this stuff in. And then see where it takes us, right? So we've got that. Do this cute little spray can. I like this little heart but we need to get we need to get some black over here just getting things tucked in Piece. Come right there. This is a little cute make memories. And then we're going to take this guy and just tuck him in over here. I think that looks better. I do like the enjoy. So really just utilizing the paper for what we need it to do, right? We need the paper to help enhance. And since it's all monotone, that photo definitely is jumping out at us, right? So that is a good thing. I'm going to bring in some more of the fun color. You can't even tell that there was a little guy over here at one point. <laughs> Alright, so we've got this. Tucking them in and around. I just really love adding things like this to the layout. Just adds a little bit of depth, dimension, and character. Then we've got this. We need something. And 
and I am just tucking and going with it. I am getting everything kind of where it needs to be. I do want to use all the little dice piece because I think they are super fabulous. And we're in Vegas, you know, you gotta shoot the craps. It's like, did I even get anything on that? So we're just gonna keep going with it. Keep layering, and popping things where they need to be. We've got all these cute little buttons. So I'm just gonna. All right, so we have got our little metal butterflies on, and those are the Finnebear Mechanicals. So those come in the kit as well. I've got those here. I really like the way this is looking, but it's really heavy down here, so we need to get a little bit going up there. So I thought, I'm thinking about sticking in this, like, never stop exploring. Let's see, what do we think? Do we think that would look... Because if I put it up here, I feel like it's just bringing too much away, but... Mm. All right, we're going to go with that one down here. It's just it's just too big. That's okay. So we're just going to get some dimension down here as well. Can I get that stuck down? Now I have all of these little elements like popped up on some foam. So I took a moment to go ahead and do that. So I figure we'll just... See, can we build a cluster up there? And maybe one over here. I'm just kind of come in with these little popped up embellishments all over the place. So we're just gonna start popping them in. I don't even know what they are at this point. I just have them all flipped over. And I thought it would be super cool to just kind of come in and get some of these little guys stuck down and around. Wow. Get a little butterfly. Put this guy right there. This is another button. I just need to make sure that they are all flush. And we'll get this little butterfly over here. And then we have this big butterfly. Let's find out where he's going to look best. And then we have some of these fun little chips. Put those right there, which will finish off those little clusters. Okay. I do like that right there, like just straight flush to the page. We're going to need some splatters for this. We need that to be straight. Okay, and the one thing that I'm going to do to make sure that we can see that is we're going to take this little guy and we're just going to come in and just slowly outline it, right? So we just want to make sure we go slow so we don't make a mess. Okay. And then let's just come in and do Some little sketchy border just around this one. 
I do have that roughed up quite nicely, so. It's like a little added border, right? Right like that. All right, and then we have just these two little elements and I'm like, mm, I really just should try to tuck them in somewhere. Just because. And then I've used everything that I pulled. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tuck that guy there. We'll tuck this little, this little guy right in there. All right. Now, what I wanna do is get these on here. Right, so, let's just go ahead and cut these right in half. We're just gonna take these and just Some fun little elements right in here just to jazz it up a little bit. Okay. Bring it <laughs> Look at that down there. I thought I was going to like it, but that was a uh, no bueno. We'll just come right here. And you can do, I think this will be kind of fun. That guy right there. That's stuck down. Okay, and then one more. This one kind of like this. And then we've used up all of those crystals as well. Put this guy back over here. And let's take one look. I think we're going to need some black splatters for real. We'll just grab some black. If I find it real quick, I can never find it on cue. There we go, we got some gloss spray in black and we're just gonna kinda come in and Oh, I do that every time you guys. I totally get it all over me. And 
I think that's gonna finish off our layout nicely. So thank you for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to check out the Trace Jolie Kit Club and pick up anything fun that she's got going on. Kim is wonderful and very easy to work with. And I will see you guys later with another video. Bye.